my friend, confidant, counselor, biggest advocate, and grammar teacher. Despite being 1,300 miles apart, you've managed to encourage me in my humblest moments and celebrate with me in my better ones. You are incredibly wise and at the same time thoughtful. Your sarcasm is on point, and even though you don't keep up with your dank memes, you manage to make me laugh every day. I'm proud to stand here before God, our family, and our closest friends and to take you as my wife. And with that, I vow to love you for who you are and who, are, who you are yet to become. I vow to express this love in forms such as embarrassing you in public with flowers, uh, awkwardly made pizzas that aren't really even that good, but you eat them anyways. I vow to listen to you with care and understanding, whether you're sharing about your day or about your friends and family whom you care deeply about. I vow to share my day with you every night, to continue to open up my life to you as, I, I, as the best I can. I vow to respond to the huge walls of text that you manage to leave when I'm at work every day. I vow to support you in your dreams and goals, whether that's building up the local church body or building the sickest collection of espresso cups. I vow to fight my nature as a homebody and explore the world together with you. I vow to do these things in the best and worst of times. But most importantly, I vow to pursue God with you and let him lead us in our life together and to let him draw us closer as we draw closer to him. Hi, Sinsar. <laughs> um, it's nice to see you face to face and not through a video screen. No matter if we were near or far, I know this relationship is a gift from God to us and it has meant so much to me. I have to admit that my first love was God, um, but because I had built that very real love relationship with him before you came along, I was able to quickly recognize your love for me as so genuine and truly from God. Um, this was such an amazing experience to be connected to the same love of God as you and the best kind of assurance I will ever need. So I vow to remain connected to the Lord, loving the Lord and loving you with the same love that I received from Him. You've also been an amazing companion and you always seem to know exactly how to respond no matter what I'm going through. You also have an incredibly interesting and painstakingly objective perspective on life. And I've already been so sharpened by all our conversations and wonderings about how to follow God. So I vow to seek first God's kingdom with you, even in cases when it's wildly unpopular and uncomfortable. I vow to pray for you and seek God on your behalf. I vow to invest the fruits of my connection to God in you and support you as God enables me. I vow to seek reconciliation with you even when it's difficult and breaks my pride, AKA, I don't get to win. Um, as Christ loves, leads, and cherishes the church, I vow to let you love, lead, and cherish me because God knows how difficult I can make that sometimes. And I vow to you my lifetime of commitment to stand by you as you grow, change, and age. I vow to you my devoted love and want to be there for everything. Oh, it's real love. Yes, it's real love. 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 My love.